You know, this new home isn't so bad. The farmland's looking beautiful and they're very functional. But as far as a farm goes, this is missing something. We don't really have farm animals. Well, we've got you, Sunny, and I guess we've got the horse and the bees. But we need, like, some cows or something. I'm thinking today's mission might be a nice animal barn. Oh, but first, an update on our horse business. So I went by and checked the barrel and we'd had another sale. I think it was blocked down. He seems to leave fish everywhere he goes. I don't know what that's about. And then, while I was there, we also had Frog Crafting come by. She seemed nice and she bought a horse, but then she asked me a really weird question. Do you have any food that maybe dead people might want to eat? Dead? Dead people? Yeah, like it wouldn't be food that we would want to eat. Maybe it would be food that you would throw away or or maybe, maybe dead people would want to eat that. Um, that's an interesting question. Uh, if you want to come up to my house, we can check. Okay, I'm going to get my horse because he's wandering into Okay. <laughs> I I'll don't even there. see him. Oh, there he is. Uh, let me see. I do have something that could help. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Try that. Oh, yeah, these stinky looking potatoes. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't eat them, but maybe dead people. Yeah, I. you know what? This actually probably will work. Well, let me know how it goes. No reason that I asked that, and make sure you stay out of my Christmas decoration closet. Okay, enjoy your horse. I'm not sure what to think of Frog after that. Sounds like she murdered some people, but now she wants to feed them. I don't even know. It makes no sense. Maybe I don't even want to know. I'm sure this plotline will come back at us somehow, but for now, let's just build a peaceful barn on our farm. I think I want to build it right over here. But before we start, I want to make sure our tools are actually good for building. Because so far, they keep breaking and they're kind of a pain. Oh, and we could upgrade armor too. We do have use of Mr. B's skeleton farm, so let's go back to the town and use that. Come on, pumpkin. Ooh, looks like it's raining in Ember Hollow. Okay, the skeleton farm is somewhere in that direction. Ooh, Mr. B's place is looking nice. And it looks like he's actually made a nice path to the farm. This is good. We need this. Hopefully... Oh, it's safer to get in too. There's a staircase. As long as there's no chance of creepers, we should be good. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at all the bone block. This is cool. And let's hit some skellies. And I did it. 41 levels for hitting the dudes. I think that'll do for now, right? Now we go make good tools by using Stubble's magic enchanty thingy. Oh, ow. I need to sleep. Ow. No, no, no. I only kill skeletons in the farm. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Imagine if I lost all those levels to a skeleton. Okay, we're in the magic tower. Let's see what our shovel can get. Wait, that's actually so good. I want it. Ah, it didn't give us anything else. I'm gonna make another shovel. And I also want another axe. And our second shovel. Oh, I'm breaking. Yes. And then I wonder if we can get good boots or something. Oh, oh feather falling. I want to fall like a feather. And we'll try a good chest plate. I'm breaking protection. You know, I'm going to take it. Okay, all done. That ended up being a pretty good upgrade. We've got all diamond armor and all good tools. Oh, and this bow. This bow is good. So now we'll head back to the farm, collect some supplies and do some building. I have a few supplies in a chest that I think will be useful, but we need a few more things. It's going to be a similar block palette to how we made our house. And the things we still need are spruce wood, mossy cobble and yellow terracotta. We'll start with the spruce and mossy cobble. We can grow some of the big spruce trees over here. And then we'll get them with our new axe. Then for mossy cobble, there should be a bunch of naturally generated ones over here. Oh yes, like this. Lastly, to get yellow terracotta for our barn, it drifts giving me directions to the mesa. Sounds like it's kind of far away, but we got this. It should be in this direction. And it was in that direction, so here we are collecting the only blob of yellow terracotta I could find. Okay, so that should be everything, and I've cleared out this area for the barn. Don't mind the hole in the floor. We'll fill that in. But we've got the basic structure of where I want it here. And I was thinking doorway right here. So we'll go in, we'll have the cows in the middle, and then maybe sections coming off the side. And we can store hay bales, or maybe even have some sheep. I don't know, we'll see. But let's get building.
find some cows to put in the barn. I swear there was some around here. Oh, cow. Here we are. Ladies, come in and we'll breed you. And that completes the barn. I didn't end up adding sheep to these little side bits. There wasn't really enough room. So it's kind of just hay storage and my horse is here. But I really like how the barn looks from the other side of the farm. So most visitors will come from this direction and you can see it over here. And once we start breeding up the cows more, we'll be able to start trading leather and steak. Hopefully people are gonna want those. This spot right here is looking a little bit bare though. I kind of want to grow an apple tree. Let's see, do we have the stuff for it? I'd love one of the big oak trees, but I'm not sure how to grow them specifically. And then I have some special apples to go on it. They may or may not be a play ahead with an apple skin. We'll do a little collecty area under here. And then we can put actual apples in the chest. Okay, that is cute. I love it. And after a very hard day's work on the farm, let's head back to the village at Ember Hollow and get some rest and sleep. The farmer needs a break from farming. Oh, I can't sleep. What's the time? Oh, it's very late. Maybe I should go on a walk. I think it'll help getting fresh air. A nice late night stroll. Wait, did I hear something? Break these fences down. Is that frog? Froggy? Uh, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Um, no, I'm just boring then. You know you've got to pay for those, right? Frog. Bye. She just stole my horses. I can't believe it. We've got to tell Drift. Why would she do this to us? I don't know. She just ran off with them and I said she has to pay. I, I don't know. It's not even just about the diamonds. It's just, they're all my favorite horses. All of the Michaels are gone. I thought Frog was kind of cool, but I guess not. She does seem kind of weird, come to think of it. Earlier she was talking about dead people. What? Yeah, I don't know. Well, what should we do then? I think we need to do something to show her she can't just steal from us. Okay, well, I don't really have any ideas. Do you? I don't know. Maybe we should like rope somebody else into doing our dirty work with getting Frog back. Ooh, that's a good idea. I wonder who would fall for that kind of thing. Block down. Block down? 100%. Okay. So off we go to visit Block at his new area. We noticed he had a few horses himself, but I'm sure that's not connected. Right? I bought Sir Marshall uh, just not that long ago. Uh, one of the good ones, five diamonds. Very reasonably priced, I might just say. Turns out uh, he's, he's pregnant. He's pregnant. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm quite the uh, equestrian myself, yes. Wow. Anyway, back to our issue. We're having problems with Frog. Um, it seems she stole a bunch of our horses, all of our good ones, actually. I am shocked and outraged. We were hoping that you could help us out with this. Maybe you could set something up for us, you know. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, that f sure, yeah. I think we've got it worked. What are you guys talking about? Can I? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yeah. Let's yeah. get her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always <losing> it here. <laughs> so we went to Froggy's house and Block set a TNT trap. Brock, did we make a mistake by involving him in this with us? Uh, I think it's too late now. Hello. Hey. Hello. It's so nice to have friends. Then we got a book, told her not to steal from us again, and put it in her mailbox. I feel like she'll get the message. Is there anything that we can do for you? Because you, you really did help us out here. I mean, you would call me a hero in this situation, right? Oh. I mean, like, it's a little bit subjective, but I guess so. Like, why not? So maybe you'd leave me a sort of hero review on the notice board so everyone else in the village can see? Oh, of course. Of course we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Bye. Bye! I really don't want to give him four stars out of four. We'll just write four stars and then no one will know out of how many. That's so true. Okay, let's do that. Did the job. Did the job. That's just, it. Just did the job. That's it. That's it. There. Oh boy, I'm glad that's over. At least, I hope it's over. I'm sure Froggy will get the message and she won't mess with us anymore. In the meantime, I'm just going to be out here on my farm breeding cows. Which is going pretty well, by the way. We've got a lot of cows. And so my days pass by farming the crops and tending to the cows. I was in 
Gobble's house the other day, and you know that, like, weird magic book that he has? Oh, yeah? Did you know it's actually bedtime stories? What? It's not magic. Oh, oh what? what is happening? What is this? Oh, wait. What is going oh, on? Yeah. Fog, what are you doing? What are you doing? How could you do this to me? It's a book that you stole from us. I didn't steal from you. You guys set a TNT trap on my house and I didn't steal from anyone. But I saw you. I paid you for that horse. I came over and bought a horse from you. I didn't steal anything. I have one horse at my house. I went for a walk in the night and I saw you stealing horses. Are you sure it was me? Because I, I never stole anything from you. Well, it looked just like you. You did sound a bit weird though. Do you, do you think somebody was like disguised as me? It's possible. I would never steal from you guys. You guys are my best friends. The more we thought about it and the more we pieced together clothes, we realized that the true culprit was right under our nose. Why would he so willingly want to set a trap? Do you have beef with block down? Yes, for a long time, actually. I think that we need to get back at him, but why don't y'all let me handle that? So it seemed to have friends with Froggy once more. Not so much with block, though. I'm sure she'll deal with him, but there is one little thing I want to do. We've got to change the review we gave them, because it is not accurate. Zero stars framed frog. Okay, much better. Now I'm just going to chill out and relax until tomorrow, because we're going to have a group meeting at Stobble's house, and I'm betting that's going to be more drama. Okay, thank you all for coming. Now, what we need to discuss is very important, and it involves all of us. I've been in the portal. It wasn't my fault. I got dragged in there, locked down, what? drift and Wax pulled me out of bed and they forced me to go in there, okay? I thought we agreed no. not to go in the portal. We had to do it. So yeah, we went in the portal, um, had a little look around, everything's going fine, 100% success rate, and we did stumble across what looks like someone living in there, I wanna say? Someone the living in there? Did you see them? We didn't yeah, see did them, but see we did see smoke coming from the chimney. And we also saw some really weird bricks. Wait, do we need to rescue oh, them? Like, what are they doing in there? Like, the bricks? What? No, the person. It's, it's only a two minute walk. And then we can, maybe we can figure out how to close this thing and be done with it. I, I'm I'm in, I'm in. I found, I found this big fork. I, I found this big fork in the water and I'm ready to eat so much spaghetti. That is a really big fork. Yeah. Mm, let's go. Okay. It's so shiny oh. as well. I'm ready. Let's, let's rescue these bricks. Let's do it yes. guys. Let's go. We're bricks. rescuing a person drift. We're rescuing a person. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The person, the person. You're right. We were scared, but we were together, and I trusted them. Well, most of them anyway. The place through the portal was scary, and really hot. I don't know who would be living in a place like this, or why, but I guess we're gonna find out. 